Imagine being able to get a power platform and an AI Microsoft credential all in one. Well, that can happen today because Microsoft just released their implement AI models with the Microsoft Power Platform AI Builder Applied Skill. And this is our first ever AI Builder Applied Skill and Credential because this was not uh, covered in a dedicated Microsoft certification before. So this is really a brand new opportunity. For those of you that don't know about Applied Skills yet, let me introduce you in just 30 seconds. Microsoft Applied Skills are the new verified scenario-based credential that proves proficiency in skill sets specific to critical business challenges. Microsoft Applied Skills validate one specific skill, so in our case, this is all about the Power Platform AI Builder. They are project-based, meaning that you don't need to answer a ton of different multiple choice questions. You just go in, you're given a task, and you get to do it hands-on in a lab, and they're on demand, meaning that you can do them whenever you want, as long as you have internet. And wait, did I mention the best part? They are absolutely free to take. No credit card needed, you just go in, start the applied skill, you never even need to provide a payment method. So they are amazing. Now let's get back to our applied skill and let's do a quick overview. To earn this Microsoft Applied Skills credential, learners demonstrate the ability to build intelligent apps with the AI Builder, a feature in the Microsoft Power Platform. Candidates for this credential should be familiar with the Microsoft Power Platform Environment Maker role, Power Automate, Power Platform Canvas apps, Power Automate Cloudflows, and Dataverse. They should of course also have experience with the AI Builder. I love how Microsoft just put it at the end, the AI Builder, when the AI Builder is the only product inside the name of the applied skill. Sorry, that is a bit funny. But now let's talk about what do you need to know in order to pass the certification. So again, for those of you new to applied skills, when you start the applied skill, you are given one, two, or three tasks that you need to accomplish. Kind of like imagine you go in a meeting, you are assigned a project. Well, here are the tasks you need to know how to perform. You might not get all of them. You might get one or all four of them. You do not know until you start the applied skill, but you need to know how to implement document processing by using the AI Builder. You need to know how to implement text analysis by using the AI Builder. You need to implement forecasts and predictions by using the AI Builder. And you need to know how to integrate AI Builder capabilities into a Power Apps app. Now, I don't know about you, but this is not enough for me to study. I really like a more detailed list. And luckily enough, Microsoft gives it to us inside the study guide. So you know what? Let's go check it together. Okay, so I'm here in the Applied Skill page. By the way, you'll have the link right down below in the description. The Implement AI Models with the Microsoft Power Platform AI Builder Applied Skill. If you're ready to take it, I showed you enough, just click on Take Assessment now and you can start it right away. But what I want to show you, if we scroll a bit lower, is the study guide for this Applied Skill. Let's click on it here. And here we have an a lot more in-depth view of what each high-level task that we learned about, what do you actually need to do? So you see for implement document processing by using the AI Builder, you need to know how to implement a document processing model in an app created in Power Apps or in a flow. You need to know how to ingest and analyze documents. You need to know how to configure connections to Dataverse columns or extract data. Now, if we take a look at text analysis by using the AI Builder, you need to choose an appropriate text analysis model because there is more than one. You need to know how to implement the text analysis model in an app created in a Power Apps or in a Flow. 
and you need to know how to analyze text and save results. And for each one of the tasks that we talked about, you have all the different details in here. Make sure you go check it out. Make sure you know how to do everything before you go take the applied skill. But now my question for you is, are you taking this applied skill? Is this something that you're interested in or you find would be valuable for your career? I definitely plan to take it super soon. This just came out, so I want to take it by the end of the month. Please let me know in the comments below if you find this interesting or uh, if ever you think one of your friends or colleagues can find this interesting, why not send it to them? Let's help each other be aware of those credential opportunities, especially the free ones, let's be honest, and let's help everyone learn more and get a credential. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, found it valuable, make sure you like it and subscribe to the channel for the latest Microsoft credential news. And also check out some of the suggested videos and playlists that you see on your screen right away that YouTube things are definitely interesting for you. Thank you so much again for watching this video.